Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is Common Mistakes in AS Biology, Part 3. Number 1. Using the term center of the cell when describing metaphase. When you want to talk about the alignment of chromosomes during metaphase, the correct term to use is equator of the cell or metaphase plate. Number 2. Using the term opposite ends when describing the movement of chromosomes during anaphase. The proper term to use is poles. Number 3. Stating that hydrogen bonds are strong bonds. Hydrogen bonds can be found in many biological molecules such as proteins, carbohydrates, and nucleic acid. Due to the fact that they can be rapidly broken and reformed by a change in temperature, pH, and also enzymes, we consider them a weak bond in biology. Number 4. Confusing purines and pyrimidines. The two carbon nitrogen ring bases, adenine and guanine, are purines, while the one carbon nitrogen ring bases, thymine, uracil, and cytosine, are pyrimidines. Number 5. Describe DNA as the genetic code. DNA is the hereditary material. It is a biological molecule. The genetic code should be defined as the sequence of bases in the DNA which codes for the sequence of amino acids in polypeptides. Number 6. Stating that mRNA copies DNA during transcription. Transcription is a process where mRNA is synthesized. In this process, a specific base sequence of DNA is converted to a complementary base sequence of mRNA. mRNA is produced based on a specific region on DNA, so it is not right to say it copies DNA. Number 7. Giving vague molecular definitions of a gene. For example, define a gene as what gives you your characteristic or something that decides how you look like. The correct definition of a gene should be a specific sequence of nucleotides along a DNA molecule that codes for a specific sequence of amino acids in a polypeptide chain. Number 8. Stating that a gene is a group of three bases. The sequence of three DNA or RNA nucleotides that codes for a specific amino acid or stop signal during protein synthesis is known as a codon. Number 9. Stating that water moves in xylem by osmosis. Osmosis is defined as the tendency of water molecules to move down the water potential gradient through a semi-permeable membrane. In xylem, there is no membrane in which water moves through, so that is not osmosis. The main reason water moves upwards in xylem is the transpiration of pool. It also helps by root pressure. Number 10. Stating that foam sap moves by osmosis or diffusion. Translocation of foam sap from the source to the sink does involve osmosis, diffusion, and active transport. All these create a pressure difference and lead to the mass flow of foam sap in the sieve tube element. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.